Uh. It's been challenging. It's been an experience. It's been a lesson. But above all, it's been beautiful. Mm -hmm. No bad vibes. Good vibes, inshallah. Mm -hmm. To dance, to check in. And me, I love laughing all the time. And because I like that happiness. I know a lot of people are going through a lot of problems. Mutaka mm cheke, -hmm. ucheke, to cheke, to cheke shami. Like that. So with Kamene, it's been very easy. She's taught me a lot. She made my transition welcome. I came in, Nikatukanwa. Oh, you'll never feel the shoes. Oh, no, no. I'm like, guys, I didn't come here to feel nobody's shoes. And the guy you're talking about is the one who trained me in everything I know. So I'm trying to do what he taught me and I'm doing the best way I know. Oh, no. Then Wakanyamaza at some point. So now the challenge is for the next person who's going to come because they're going to go through the same thing I went through. Oh, you cannot feel the high heels of. Okay, bang your heels. <laughs> you, cannot, <laughs> you cannot feel the sneakers of Kamene. No, no, no. So it's gonna be tough also, but for her it was beautiful. She made it so easy. She was like, you, let's just do the show, let's have good vibes. And mm -hmm. here we are. Okay. Change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. But I have achieved and I've lived what I wanted to do. I've done radio for a while now. I've done all the shows. I'm the only presenter who's done late night from midnight till morning. I've done evening till uh, midnight. I've done drive, I've done mid-morning. Now I'm doing breakfast. I've done all of them. The whole shebang. So whatever happens, we'll be grateful for what we've done and the people we've inspired, the people we've motivated, the people we've entertained. Mm -hmm. And then you move to the next one, you never know. Mm -hmm. Like you, personally, when I was fired from the last organization, I thought, oh man, now this is the end of it. Then within a short time, Kiss is like, what's good? And I'm like, wait a minute, you guys do know that I was, <laughs> so I was told I was useless and you know. Mm -hmm. So like they always say, another man's meat is another man's poison and another, man, another man's poison is another man's treasure. Mm -hmm. So you never know. The whole situation is like nobody cares about boy child as much as they pretend to. Uh, because when things happen against the boy child, people always go, well, when I'm going to pick one, da 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 people laugh. Then I've realized that boys are the enemies of boys. True. Like girls, when something happens against girls, they rally up against each other. How can this happen? Da da da. Wanaume, if you look at the comments that they were posting in Nairobi Gossip Club, ni wanaume tu wapo, unapigwa aje wani wanamuke, ah, wewe ni wanamuke, lazy, nini, they start calling you some other names. I'm like, guys, you do realize that tomorrow it might be you, your brother, your son, your nephew, your dad, your uncle, whoever it is. And most men are going through it, and they never talk. I know about 10 men. I'm talking about celebrities mm -hmm. who are in gender-based violence situations with their persons. But they can't do anything about it because if I do this, my career is going to be over. If I talk about it, we are not going to form that partnership that other people idolize on YouTube and everything. So they're like, well, I'm just going to laugh it off, you know, cameras are rolling. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Mm -hmm. Then it's off, people are not talking. But when I posted that thing, even when mine was happening, when my situation was happening with my baby mama, a lot of people came by DM, bro, man, I'm also going through the same thing. But they too. Now that's a problem with men. The ones who really support you come in your DM. They support you in private. They're like, bro, I know CEOs who have been in situations telling me, hey, bro, hey, me baby, mama, I'm going to go Oh, bro, me baby, I'm Oh, da, 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 da. But they're in private. But ladies are always very vocal. You even see ladies who are respectable in the society vocally talking about you on Twitter, on their Instagram. Now, that's a problem. So it's gotten to a point now where it's comfortable for men to do it. And other people come there and say, you know, it's common sense. Logically, nearly everybody here, I can beat them black and blue. Everybody who is here, including the men. <laughs> I'm a trained kickboxer, you see. But I will not do that because it's not the right thing to do. So other people come and say, Oh, una pigo jene mwana mke, sunge mpiga pia. So they are advocating for an eye for an eye. And then when you do that, what happens next? The whole world goes blind. So it's good to walk away. Sometimes you can't walk away because of one reason to another. I've been there, other men have been there, other people are still stuck in there, you saw to me the situation. If I didn't talk about it, trust me, I've known this thing for about two years now. And I've been in those situations, we've tried to solve these things a couple of, we've had sit downs with both of them. I'm like, what's happening, man? Can we do, can, I have recordings. Because I learned one thing, when you go and meet someone, people always know how to change conversation. They say, this person came and then this person did this. So any person I'm always meeting in a difficult situation, I always put my phone on record, just for purposes of protection because things get switched and boy child gets thrown under the bus now na tukanwa na una pigwa una kwa fired and things happen like that mm -hmm. so that's why i'm really advocating for gender based violence uh, to stop gender based violence against men against women it's working well we appreciate you value it and i'm always telling men don't raise a hand on a woman you know you're very you're a narcissist you're egocentric you're this you're this you're this and that they even forgot what i was what i was speaking about what they didn't realize is i was speaking from a point of aggression 
I was angry at everything because I'm like, yo guys, I've come out crying, this is happening. And now everybody's just like, yeah. And then conversations went and got turned, interviews got done, and I was just like, yo. And I said I should have kept quiet. And that's when I started walking away from interviews. I'm like, what do you want to talk about, my baby mama? I'm not gonna talk about it. Let's talk about something else until to really happen. Then I'm like, yo guys, this now is too much. Mm -hmm. So let's stop it. So uh, I've partnered with uh, change.org and we've uh, filed a petition. So help me guys in signing it. When you see it, it's uh, just go to change.org, look for the petition, stop gender-based violence against men and just sign it. When you sign it, this is what's gonna happen. The government is gonna take it more serious. And then they're gonna put out safe houses for men they're going to put out counseling centers for men. Trust me, our men in this society are broken. Why do you think men drink the way they drink? Why do you think men, some men have dead beats and everything? It happens in such ways sometimes. I saw this even with Tumbili. Your baby mama takes away your kid and then tells you, you will not see your child. Where is the child? You have no idea. Where Tuma Pesa mina peleka mtoto shule, Tuma Pesa mtoto akule. You're like, why am I sending money and I cannot see the child? Like, you don't, I don't care, you send the money. Then you say, cool, I'm not going to send the money because I cannot see the child until I can see the child. Then what do they do? They go to you guys. Obina is deadbeat. What do you guys do? You post it up there. Obina exposed badly, <laughs> being a deadbeat. And then what do the fans do? Matusi. Ah, who you say? Useless. We knew. Da, 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 da. Nobody knows the backstory. And there is nobody that you can go to and say, listen, I just want to provide for my kids. I want to pay the school fees, I want to pay for them their meals and everything, but I want to be able to see them. Most of the time when baby daddies happen to see the children, you only see them at the mercy of your baby mama. And the way this happens is this, you either pay your baby mama or you sleep with her. If you're not sleeping with your baby mama or you're not paying your baby mama, chances are high you'll not see your child. It has to be one way. What that happens is for her, she believes you guys are still together or you guys are still working out or whatever. Now your first lady was your baby mama now becomes your side chick because now your other chick is now your, your main chick. And then you have to see your children. But if you don't do that, trust me, I know so many men who are like, bro, another one, the wife went to the States with the kids. He booked a ticket for holiday. They went there, they got there. The wife said she's not coming back. And he's a very prominent person. The other one... Uh, uh, they were living in Rongai, a home, own compound built for the woman. One day the woman just left with the child and said, you're not going to see my child again. And when they leave, it's normally my child. It's never our child. You, you, you don't see my child. Then we also have been mamas who bounce children from different schools. Leo na kambia, lipa school fees. See, I just paid school fees. That, yeah, I mean, I'm going to go to the like I'm going to go to the village. But you didn't discuss to me. Others will take their children and take their children to the village. Okay. So, I've been talking about it because most men who I know don't want to talk about it because of the positions they hold in their society. The men who come there to tukana each other are useless men. Someone who is jobless in some bed sitter somewhere, someone who is angered, someone who is going through an aggression. And the reason why they are useless is because they are not being useful in the situation that is happening. So then they feel, let me come and tukana this person to just feel good about myself. You know, other men have also been raised wrong. That's what they know. Manomeni kutukanana, manomeni kupigana, manomeni kuangalesha na mbaya. Unaona manomeni kuambia dem nini nini, you know. So that is the way they are raised. So what I'm what I've been trying to do in my social media all the time, go to my kids page. On my YouTube, on the YouTube page for my kids, I'm always trying to show other baby daddies how to relate with their children.